Hi guys, welcome back to In Case of Econ Struggles. Welcome to another AP Micro Struggle. Today we're finishing up Unit 5, talking about Topic 5.5, or Monopsony. And we're talking about the labor market in this context. Super, super quick video, but hopefully we'll just finish up this unit. So let's go ahead and get right into it. So the basic idea here is remember that a monopoly, you have one seller. We've talked about monopolies before. But in a monopsony, you only have one buyer. So this is really applicable for the labor market where maybe Bill is the only employer in town. So all of the Leonas that we've talked about before, if they want a job, their only choice is to go work for Bill. And if their only choice is to work for Bill, then Bill is going to have power in setting wages. And so that's going to impact the wages that he pays the Leonas because he could probably pay them a lower wage than if there were other firms in this town. So how does this manifest itself? Well, it's going to be on a graph. So just as a quick recap in Monopoly, remember that we have a demand curve and we said that we have a marginal revenue curve that does something like this. And we've talked about before why this marginal revenue curve is below the demand curve. We said that we set marginal revenue equal to marginal cost. The market power aspect is how we can go up and charge a higher price than marginal cost or marginal revenue. That's how we got our P star and Q star. And it's going to be a very similar story when we talk about monopsony. So again, here's a wage market, here's a labor market. So here's wage and here's the number of Leonas, the number of workers that we're hiring. Here's the marginal product of labor that looks like this. And then here's our supply curve that looks like this. Now, instead of the marginal revenue curve, which is gonna fall below a demand curve, we're gonna have a marginal factor cost, which is going to be above the supply curve. And that's how we're going to find out how many people to hire. We're going to take where marginal product is equal to marginal factor cost, and we're going to go down to the supply curve. Remember, this is the supply of labor. We're going to go down to the supply curve. So if it's helpful, you can think about this supply curve as the demand for jobs. That helps you sort of square it with the monopoly. So again, you could sort of call this a demand for jobs rather than a supply curve, but it's a supply of labor, either one. We're going to follow this point right here down to the supply curve down to how many people want to work at this wage. And that is the wage that we are going to pay in the market. So again, this distance right here represents the fact that we have market power. So we're going to pay this equilibrium wage right here, and we're going to have this many workers. So again, hopefully this makes sense. Just a quick little video on monopsony. And again, now we're done with unit five. So if you've got any questions about unit five or you're finding these videos helpful, leave a comment below. And if you haven't already, please like and subscribe, and we'll see you next time for another case of Econ Struggles.